All right guys, today we're talking about fiber and how it can be used from an augmented reality sphere. Now this is definitely different to a normal video. It's not a tutorial. It is purely me exploring and experimenting with alternative ways to create augmented reality. Now, I just want to start by saying this isn't sponsored by Fiverr, it's not an ad, this is me just purely experimenting. Now, what I want to do is I want to find someone or some people who can help improve or help provide alternative designs for our app Wine Retail. Now, we're going to be going back a couple of weeks. I've been recording my journey along the way just so we could see how things go and what I sort of run into along the way. But let's go back a couple of weeks and see how this started off. All right guys, if you're seeing this, it means my plan has worked. We are going to be utilizing Fiverr in order to redesign layouts that we use in wine retail. Now for this, this is a total experiment and I have no idea what's gonna happen. I, I'm just gonna set out a few ground sort of what I think is gonna happen. Firstly, I don't have super high hopes on this working well for two main reasons. One is, I'm going to be setting a relatively cheap price per gig. That is, I'm willing to pay roughly $50 per gig. And with a cheap price means pretty cheap quality in most cases. Along with this, I still don't know my own ability to fully explain what we're trying to achieve is going to be substantial enough for trying to talk with people on Fiverr. I'm hoping it is, and I'm hoping by utilizing video of Wine Retail, it's gonna help give them an, uh, a sort of overview of what we're trying to achieve. But honestly, I, I, I could get surprised, but I'm setting my own expectations low so I don't get really disappointed from this. Um, just heads up, um, I will be blurring out everyone's names in this video. I, I don't want to give anyone a bad rap um, in, because this is gonna be very, creative based and it's going to be very much uh, based on how they take my description because I'm basically going to be in my head what I'm thinking is I, I go to Fiverr I'm contacting people and I'm sending them a message that is here's the details what do you think and I know it's really not a great way to work with um, like gig based because they just like looking for here's the specific requirements give me this I'm asking someone to be creative for a really cheap price, and I don't know how that's gonna go. So let me start off by telling you what we're actually gonna be doing. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, Wine Retail is a product that we developed and is with Seashow Go as a company, and it effectively allows you to scan a wine bottle and see an augmented reality experience in front of it, as you can see in the demo video above. And what this has is, it, is the ability to allow wineries to share their information and give more of like a, a raw in-depth look at the winery more so than you would with just standard social media. Along with that we've got things like a social wall allowing people to uh, post on Instagram and show up in front of the wine bottle as one of the uh, fans as you can see in that example right there. And so we have some pretty cool technology and you can see the different outputs that we have there and I'm just gonna bring up this page because this has a few examples here and let me just even zoom in a little bit so you can see them a little bit better. But you can see um, just bits of content in a nicely presented augmented reality experience in front of the wine bottle. And each of these are different scenes in a system that have set pieces of content. That is this one here as an example. We have uh, a video up the top a heading and a description and that's all the set content that the winery needs to provide us however then we lay that out is up to us as a creative and this is what we've come up with and so what we're going to be trying to do with Fiverr is see can someone come up with an alternative version of displaying that content out so what we need to do to get started is just go to Fiverr we have an account already so I'm not going to create a new one and then we need to find uh, the gigs that we actually want to purchase or, or contact those people. And this kind of runs me into my first issue of what am I searching for? Who am I searching for in this? Because it's a an augmented reality product designer. I don't know, maybe, maybe there's people that do that, but I think that's pretty niche. 
Maybe it's a product designer, maybe it's an augmented reality person, maybe it's graphic design in general, maybe it's, and this is where I'm gonna start with, some sort of like industrial design. It, they might say that this is completely wrong and completely not what they do, but it's where my head for some reason starts. And I think it's a little bit weighed by conversations that we've had internally um, lately. But I, I think where I'm gonna start is, and, and this is sort of what I'm thinking I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with industrial design as our first tier. That is, I'm gonna search for people with industrial design skills, contact them because I don't wanna just purchase the gig straight up, but I wanna contact them all with some sort of like, gen not generic, cause that's a bad word, but a message that I'm gonna copy and paste each time that is giving that sort of brief as to like around, um, hey, this is what we're trying to do. I don't really know if this fits your gig specifically, but I think you're closely related enough that it made sense for me to contact you. Here's uh, what we're trying to do. Here's the example video of, so you can see it in action. What are your thoughts around this? And, and sort of, I, I, I sort of envision that there's gonna be a lot of back and forth around this because I, I honestly can't really get my head around who should be doing it or how to best explain it exactly in one message because I think that's really hard to do. So I'm gonna sort of go a little bit of back and forth and I, I, I'm kind of expecting to have a few no's, this isn't what I do, but hopefully not too many so that we're not going for this like for many days at a time trying to find people. But basically, that, that's sort of my general sphere. I'm gonna be on Fiverr, I'm gonna be going to industrial design, finding people within sort of the budget range that I expect, and contacting to say how they sort of think it would go. I think then it's sort of gonna be, I guess maybe I'm gonna be just doing like maybe daily updates to let you know, hey, this is what's happening. And I think that's probably the best way forward. So I will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna to send a whole bunch of messages now. I'm gonna find people and hopefully we hear back tomorrow. Anyway, until then, see you guys. All right, day two, we're here. We're, uh, we've had a few responses now, and gonna be honest, a lot of these uh, said no, they can't do it. We did get a couple um, that said yes, but for the most part, we either didn't get responses, or yeah, not really their area of expertise. Uh, they sort of suggested that it's not really them. Some of them are saying like, go with graphic designers in general. Some are saying UI UX designers. Some are saying, look at augmented reality spheres. So, I don't know, to be honest, I, I'm still stuck on this, uh, what angle do I go down? But I'm thinking next, maybe I contact a few graphic designers, sort of general gigs. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm gonna, um, bas basically at this point, we haven't really got anything. Uh, waiting to hear back on a few, like, we've got a few conversations going, which is nice, but no one's, like, said, oh yeah, for sure, we can do this. So, I'm going to start some more conversations uh, with other gigs, sort of in the general graphic design sphere, see where that goes, and I guess we'll check back tomorrow. Uh, and yes, before you ask, this is my house. Uh, we started on Friday, so I'm doing an update video here in my uh, computer room here. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, day three, uh, gonna be honest, similar sort of response. Uh, a lot of people said no. Some people said, oh, some people are still in conversation actually. We have had a couple of yeses from last time. We also had some yeses from this time, which is nice, but still conversations going as to helping them understand what exactly is going on, what we need them to do, that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, we, we have a couple going, had a few people say no, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm thinking about trying to look at another sphere, which I think one person has mentioned so far, um, which is basically, why don't you check out the augmented reality sphere? And I, I think the augmented reality based gigs on Fiverr uh, isn't really suitable for what we're doing. They really are around building a face filter, building some sort of AR core related thing. There's nothing really centric around design, which to be honest, when I'm looking for augmented reality on Fiverr, I get. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go down the route of looking at 3D product design. I'm not sure how many people are gonna have it, but I think that's just another potential avenue that is closely related that I think we might get results from. So anyway, I'm gonna be doing that today, messaging a bunch of people, 
and hopefully we get a few more people say yes and we can get some layouts finally organized. All right, I'll check in later guys. See ya. All right, day four, back in office. Uh, lovely background, of course, for you. Uh, anyway, we've had um, pretty much the same sort of responses. I think probably these 3D product designs, um, some of them are like, so do you want the wine bottle designed or what do you want designed? And I think the wine, throwing the wine bottle in is actually probably confused more than anything here. So anyway, a couple of them have said yes, a couple of said no or don't quite get what I'm trying to go for, so a pretty much a no. Um, I think all of them have responded though, so that's been, that's been pretty good. But at this stage, we now have uh, seven different people from different aspects, or well, from the three main sort of aspects we've looked at, um, are all now working on something. Uh, on the layout, that is, but I'm still not confident on one or two of them as to w will I get a layout back or am I gonna get something different so I don't know we, we're gonna we're gonna let it run now basically we're gonna let it run I'm not gonna do any more update videos uh, along the way I'm pretty much just gonna be facilitating um, messaging with them and I'm gonna wait till we've got them all back I'm gonna do whatever I do and I'll chat to you guys then see ya on last update before results <laughs> All right, guys, we actually have all the results in, and I'm gonna be honest, there is a bit of a mixed bag. I have looked at all of them to this point because basically after we go through these on computer, I'm gonna actually uh, go to the other room and I'm gonna show you them on the actual wine bowl. That is, I'm gonna take each of the layouts that have been sent through and put them into an actual situation so that we can see what they look like on the wine bottle. So anyway, no holding off. Let's go to the results, let's check in. Definitely a mixed bag, let's check it out. So, our return results. The first person provided us two layouts, or two variations of layouts. We have this first one, which uh, I'm just gonna make a little bit bigger so you guys can see a bit easier. The first one is meant to be, I guess, for a red wine um, related one. So, we have here a nice little graphic over the front and then the layout uh, behind it. That is like a spot for a video and spot for description and content. Now they didn't put content in, that's fine. I didn't, I didn't ask them to do that. But they have a variation for a red and for a white wine. So it's pretty cool. I, I don't mind that. That's uh, pretty nice. We go to the second one. Now this guy popped it in front of a, he put it into situation. He put it in front of a wine bottle. I like the idea of this guy. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he put it in situation for us so we could actually see it without even doing it in Unity itself. This to me looks pretty nice. I, I like this. They also gave a second variation here. Um, not as nice in my opinion, but it still looks pretty decent. Uh, and then the single layer as well. Uh, we have the third one. And this one uh, utilized a similar approach to what we did do in our designs. That is, there's like a bit of a glow around it. We've got the video, the, the heading and description content, and then like a nice little shadowy overlay down the bottom. Uh, I, I don't mind this one. This actually looks pretty nice. Um, it just, uh, to me, is very similar to what we have and, you know, fair. That, I mean, I gave a pretty broad brief, so I get I get that. The fourth one, um, to me, I don't like as much. I think it's too chunky, I guess is the best way to put. And like, you gotta look at the video proportions. Like, if they're starting to cover this entire area of the video, like, that's such a, different dimensional wise to what we currently do with our videos. I, I think for, for this one, for me, it's probably just a bit too wide uh, in regards to what we have. Like, it's a lot wider than what we have, but again, I left it, it's completely creative, it's up to them, so hey, their choice, and I, I don't mind it. The fifth one, um, we got two designs back again. We have this one which has, um, no like sort of defined border, which I think for what we've experienced so far with Winery Tell, a, a defined border does work better, but um, still could work if we just add a glow around it as well. I do like these glows that they've added here, probably with some like transparency in this box here, this could potentially work. Um, and this is the second one that they've provided as well, where 
I guess this is a bit more like a defined box and like the areas where the content goes. For some reason this one's a lot skinnier. Like if we look at these two, like you can see it's noticeably skinnier. Not really sure what happened there, but um, I'm sure if we just expand this out a bit, maybe it would, um, it would probably work a little bit better. Uh, overall pretty good for what you pay and also with the brief that I gave. Uh, number six, we got someone who put it into situation as well and also in like a proper in situation rather than just on top of the wine bottle. So this was pretty cool to see. This like, sort of excited me because like we hadn't had one at this point which did it to this level. Um, and I, I actually think this design looks really cool. Probably doesn't really suit wineries that much. Um, just the, unless you have one that's trying to be funky and, and new age that utilizes retro styles, but for the most part, wineries probably don't utilize this sort of uh, styling. But honestly, this one looks awesome. I, I love the concept behind this one. Um, awesome work by this guy. And the last one uh, is kind of plain-ish, I guess. Um, it, it does encompass all the content, like it's got the heading, uh, sorry, it's got the heading here, uh, it's got the, the description content, it's got the video here, and it's got like, uh, we have the showcase now, and he decided to rename it for you. I think um, this works well if it's probably just like the whole screen is taken up rather than being augmented reality. I think this sort of general layout is pretty nice. I don't know how that would sit for augmented reality so much though, personally. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion, and again, it was a wide open brief. I think, to be honest, looking at the results, I think everyone sort of for what the brief that I gave them, I think they did really well with um, the outcomes that they, were, they provided back. But anyway, let's take these, put them into Unity, put them on a wine bottle, and see what they look like. Because I reckon they'll be awesome to see. All right, now I've got my bottle. I've got the APK on my phone. Let's go ahead, try check it out. Okay, so this is our first one. It's um, pretty similar in a way, in that we've got like a nice little visual off to the side, a big content area for where the main text would go, and also a spot for the video up the top. I don't mind this one. Um, it sits pretty well in the wine perspective. It's probably just a little bit solid is the thing that I thought when I first got this, but overall not that bad. Let's go to the next one. So the next one I think is probably, in my opinion, the best in regards to coming up with a new sort of style. This really took um, what we have and tried to lay out in a different way. So we can see like the like button is up the top now. We've got a video area, we've got a main content spot, and we've got this nice little graphics at the bottom, along with an entirely custom shape um, for the content. I, I really like the idea behind this one. It looks pretty cool. This next one, I think, uh, takes what we do as our layouts and really tries to just find a new alternative version of it. So really didn't like fully explore trying to find a new layout or anything like that. It just explored the designs or the graphics inside it, which I think, to be fair, the way I explained the project, I can understand why someone did this. The next one, um, the next one I don't fully get. So. In this, I did slightly squish this when putting it in with Unity, and that's my bad. But the layout is just so... I guess it's so different and just looks a little bit cartoonish, I guess, but maybe that's the color usage for me. Um, not, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. It's still okay. The next one um, really took what we did and makes it really similar. So. Again, finding an alternative way to display it still sticks with the same sort of shape and the same sort of area of content, just explores a little bit difference in the actual design and graphics. Overall, not horrible. Um, it, it's pretty similar, so not bad. This next one really caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting someone to go this sort of route in like going a real retro wave, to be honest. And I actually really like the look of it. I, I don't know if for wineries it suits that well, but I really love the direction this one took. And look at that nice little glow around the edge. That looks sweet. I think this one, to me, looks the coolest, but also probably doesn't fit the market the best unless someone's brand is like this. So overall, really like this one. 
And the last one is not too bad. Um, takes similar to the other ones, takes what we did and provides a slightly different alteration to the design that you could use. Overall, not that bad. Probably uh, too much area of white space to take advantage in augmented reality. That's probably the main challenge I saw with this one, but overall, not too bad. And then we're back at the start. So, you know, that's all the displays. We had some pretty nice ones in there, some uh, interesting ones and some really far out ones there. So overall, not bad. All right, guys, and that's it. We've gone through, we got a real, in my opinion, we got a real mixed bag of results. Like some of them look really nice in my opinion, others not so much. And look, that's probably a bit of, I put a really limited budget on this, but also I really honestly just didn't know who or what type of skill set was required for this. Guys, if you have any idea on what do you think the specific skill set is to design for this? Or if you happen to think that you could design for this, please write a comment. I'd love to know. I'd love to hear what people think around that. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. I'll see you next time. Peace.